Coming up, search and rescue teams are feeling the pressure racing against the clock to find a missing submarine. How much oxygen officials say is likely left in the missing vessel. And two airplanes bump at the Boston airport. The incident caught on camera by passengers. The rundown starts now. This is Straight Arrow News bringing you unbiased straight facts. Thanks for joining us. I'm Kara Rucker. The search is on for five people on board a small submarine that has gone missing at the bottom of the northern Atlantic Ocean. Rescuers from the U.S. and Canada are searching for the vessel known for exploring the wreckage site of the Titanic. The submarine went missing on Sunday. Officials say communication was lost about 90 minutes into the dive to tour the Titanic underwater. The vessel is said to be about the size of a van and has enough oxygen to last about four days, giving rescuers a timetable on how long they have to hold out hope for survivors. The search and rescue operation is taking place about 900 miles east of Cape Cod and up to 13,000 feet deep. Yesterday afternoon, uh, we were notified by the operator of the submersible vessel that it was uh, overdue and it had five uh, persons on board uh, the submersible. So we're working very closely at this point uh, to make sure that we're doing everything that we can do uh, to locate uh, the submersible and rescue uh, those on board. Extreme weather is stretching across the U.S. from tornadoes in Mississippi, triple-digit temperatures, and a tropical storm already forming in the mid-Atlantic. The storms in the south are a continuation from severe weather that hit the region over the weekend. Multiple tornadoes touched down in Mississippi. One person died and nearly two dozen others were injured. There were eight people also trapped inside a local bank for hours as the system passed through. There were at least 100 homes and businesses destroyed. In some portions of Texas, storms knocked out power where residents were also experiencing feels like temperatures in the triple digits. In Fort Worth, the heat index hit 113 on Monday and the summer season hasn't even technically started. There's also Tropical Storm Brett that has formed in the mid-Atlantic, expected to strike the Caribbean as a hurricane at the end of the week. Former President Trump and his legal team will not be allowed to publicly disclose any federal evidence in the classified documents case against him. A federal judge in Florida ruled Monday that the former president can't discuss any of the discovery materials with members of the media or anyone in the public. Special counsel Jack Smith sought the order, claiming the evidence against the former president includes sensitive and confidential information. Trump was charged last week with 37 criminal counts, all of which he pleaded not guilty to. Video from inside a United airplane shows a slow motion collision with a Delta plane on the ground at the Boston Logan International Airport. You can see the Delta plane reversing and bumping a wing belonging to the United jet. No major damage was reported. Passengers on the United flight were rebooked to other flights and Delta's flight was delayed for more than five hours while both planes were looked at following the bump on the tarmac. This is the latest incident in a series of potentially much more serious near collisions at various U.S. airports this year. Auto safety regulators have launched an investigation into Hyundai's 2022 Ionic 5 electric cars. More than two dozen drivers reported a sudden loss of power while driving, prompting the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration to investigate the nearly 40,000 vehicles. Many of the drivers reported a loud popping noise and saw a warning on their dashboard before the EV would go dead. Hyundai says there may be a problem with a battery charging unit and it plans to update the vehicle's software next month. Swarms of the ground-dwelling Mormon crickets have appeared in parts of Nevada and Idaho, covering buildings, sidewalks, and roadways. The issue has caused officials to begin deploying crews to try and help clean up the buildup of cricket carcasses. Nevada's Transportation Department has also warned motorists in the state to drive slowly in areas where vehicles are crushing Mormon crickets as they can create hazardous roadway conditions and have already caused several accidents. The department has been 
been plowing and sanding highways in an effort to alleviate the problem. Others in the area have been using things like leaf blowers, tractors, and even snow plows to combat the invading crickets. Experts say an unusually rainy winter is to blame for the insect influx, delaying the bugs hatching cycle, which has resulted in the increased number of bugs that could remain at a peak for the next four to six years. These are your top stories. Thanks for joining us for the rundown. We're on a mission to bring back trustworthy journalism by serving only you, not an agenda. Be sure to check out more of our work at straightarrownews.com. You can also find the latest rundown episodes available as a podcast on all major podcast platforms. We'll see you back here tomorrow. Until then, I'm Kara Rucker. Have a great day.